Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 31st of 2024 is titled IFN and the NGC 7771 group. So what do we see here? Well, here what we see is two different things. We do see a group of galaxies, which includes a couple of spiral galaxies. And one of those is the NGC 7771, which is the edge on spiral galaxy that we see near the center of the image. And a little bit to the right of that, we see another galaxy known as NGC 7769, which is more of a face on galaxy. Now you can see the difference in how these two galaxies happen to be positioned. The one on the right, we look like we're looking almost straight down on it and can see all the distinct spiral structure arms swirling out from the center. In the one to the left, we don't see that quite as much. It's not completely edge on, which would look almost flat, but we can see that we're not seeing as much of the structure and we're looking at it at a much steeper angle. And that means we don't see the spiral structure quite as well, although you can make it out a little bit there. Now, these galaxies are also known to be interacting. And some of those you can look at the galaxy, the spiral structure, and see that they're really not quite as nice and smooth as we've seen with other galaxies in the past. There seem to be some wrinkles within the spiral arms, and they seem to be distorted a little bit. Well, that's what happens when galaxies interact. Their gravitational in fields will interact, and different parts of them will get stretched and twisted. Now eventually galaxies like this could merge together forming a single larger galaxy much as is in process in our own galaxy where the Andromeda galaxy and ours are getting closer and closer together and will eventually merge into one much larger galaxy. Well the same kind of thing could happen here in a billion or two years as they get closer and closer together. So that's what likely happens with a lot of these galaxies and how they grow from very small galaxies to very large galaxies. So we believe that galaxy evolution occurs through things like galactic mergers. Now the other thing we hear we see here is the IFN. That's what we call the integrated flux nebulae. That's kind of this haze that almost fills the 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 image. And that's also sometimes known as the galactic cirrus. And those are clouds of gas within our galaxy. So that is not associated with these distant galaxies. That is actually part of our own galaxy and our clouds of dust that just happen to be across the same field of view. Now, as I said, we call them an integrated flux nebula, and we see these in various different regions, but they are material within our own galaxy and only a few hundred light years above or below the plane of our galaxy. So they're relatively close. And in fact, compared to the galaxies we're looking at, they're much, much closer. They're actually part of our own galaxy, just happening to be in the same general direction here. And that's similar what we see with the stars. You can look at the various stars in this image. Every single star that you're seeing is part of our own Milky Way. None of these stars are part of any other galaxy. You can see several other galaxies too. As you look around, you can see other things that do not look like individual points of light with that diffraction cross pattern going through them. Well, those fuzzy little objects are also other galaxies, many of them either associated with these that are smaller galaxies or actually positioned well beyond these off in the distance. So that was our picture of the day for August 31st of 2024. It was titled IFN and the NGC 7771 group. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be moon dressing. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.